this is Joy at Red Pine Quilt Shop. Today we're going to talk about how to press quarter square and half square triangle blocks. So the thing that you want to always keep in mind when you're working with blocks like this is where is your straight of grain and where is your bias? So this half square triangle block was made by working with a square. I sewed a quarter inch on each side of the middle line and then I cut it in half. So with this particular construction method for my half square triangles, I have straight of grain here and I have straight of grain here. So when I go to press this, what I want to do is set my seam. So I'm going to go ahead and set my seam with my hot iron. And then when I press, what I want to do is to make sure that I'm pressing this way and this way. I don't want to go this way because that would be going right into the bias. So I'm going to go this way and I'm going to go this way. And both of those ways are going against the straight of grain. So there's straight of grain this way, there's straight of grain this way. You just don't want to nose into that side angle because that's where all the bias is. Same thing with a quarter square triangle block. Typically you're going to cut these off a square and that is to make sure that when your block is finished you have straight of grain along the edges. So here's one section of my quarter square triangle block. Again I'll set my seam and now on this one the straight of grain is along that long edge and that again like I said earlier is so that when your block is finished you will have straight of grain along the outer edges. So to press this one, I want to make sure that I'm following that line. So I can actually come in and I can follow that grain line as I press. And that will actually let me press with a little bit of motion. Try to minimize it as much as you can, but it will let me actually press. And I just need to make sure that I'm following that straight of grain line because that straight of grain line won't stretch. I hope you guys got some helpful tips out of our video today. Thanks for joining us, and, and we hope you can join us again next time.